Most of us grew up watching cartoons, stuffing our brains with mindless junk while growing to love a whole host of crazy characters from SpongeBob to Phineas and Ferb. But would you ever want to meet them in the real world? Here are some real life imaginings of cartoon characters which are true childhood ruiners. Amazing. Peppa Pig. One eagle-eyed Peppa Pig viewer recently noticed that the friendly pink adventurer is only ever seen from the side and took to Twitter to reveal what she might look like head on. You can't unsee it now. Brazilian 3D artist Jan Blanco takes this reimagining a step further in this nauseating peek at little Peppa all grown up, and boy does it look like she's fallen on some hard times. Homer Simpson The Simpsons are a staple of American culture, but have you ever considered what they would look like in human form? Professional character artist Miguel Vasquez does just that in this nightmarish 3D model of Homer, which really draws attention to the family's recognizable bug eyes. The poor man doesn't even have eyelashes. I'm holding on to hope that human homie would look more like this guy. Or perhaps Hollywood actor Paul Giamatti. You know, able to blink. Marge Simpson I couldn't possibly forget about Marge, could I? Thankfully, Miguel Vasquez has covered all Simpsons-related bases by offering an IRL glimpse into the blue-haired TV icon. Somehow, her towering mass of wool-like hair isn't the most disconcerting thing here, and at least she's got eyelashes. But what is going on with the mouth? I don't care what anyone says about the Kardashians, because Marge is clearly the OG lip filler queen. Mr. Burns, Ned Flanders, and Grandpa. Wrapping up the Simpsons saga, if you weren't scarred enough, here's the devious Mr. Burns by DeviantArt user Madeleon RJ. Somehow the horrifyingly unnatural neck to head ratio of that 3D rendering is still no match for this real life Mr. Burns lookalike, who's definitely rubbing his hands together somewhere in this photo. Speaking of lookalikes, this guy is about 10 seconds away from hopping over the fence and inviting me to the church bake sale. And even this 3D Flanders by ZBrush artist Amruzi looks over eager to please. And check out this 3D rendering of the lovable grandpa by Mano's Art from a Worth 1000 contest. He looks like he's seen some stuff. Nigel Thornberry. This real life imagining of Nigel Thornberry by Miguel Vasquez is borderline demonic. You could land a small helicopter on that beak. And what's the deal with the bulging bloodshot eyeballs? Poor guy looks like he's desperately trying not to blurt out SMASHING for the hundredth time. SpongeBob A talking sea sponge. What would he even look like IRL? Well, Vasquez has come to the rescue with this rendering. Or not. Somehow the lovable chump is staring deep into my soul. And it only gets worse in this unsettling reimagining by DeviantArt user Bo Warner. This dude looks like he's been bathing in Krabby Patty oil twice a day, but hey, at least he doesn't have human legs this time. Patrick. Who would SpongeBob be without his pals? First up is Patrick, who, according to this Miguel Vasquez intimidating creation, has become a pro wrestler. Just look at those guns. If you're looking for a friendlier rendition, how about this Mona Lisa-like smirk by digital artist UglyGuy45? Or maybe this viral meme. Never mind. Squidward. Squidward Tentacles is the grumpy anti-hero we all grew up to become. So it's nice to see his irritable energy carried over into the real world by artist Habibity Nickerson, right down to the arched eyebrow. Remember that one episode with handsome Squidward? Vasquez has already got you covered, and he's as beautiful and unnervingly shiny as ever. Beavis and Butthead you only have to glance at these lifelike sculptures by prosthetic artist Kevin Kirkpatrick to imagine how unbearingly annoying a real-life Beavis and Butthead would be. The look on Beavis' face is that of a total psychopath. And for a pair of delinquents with two brain cells between them, those are some pretty large foreheads. This comparison with Benedict Cumberbatch and Neil Patrick Harris is plausible, if not entirely insulting. But if you ask me, Beavis and Butthead manifest themselves pretty nicely in Leanne and Angie from Orange is the New Black. If you know, you know. Stitch. You may have already seen this real life imagining of the lovable extraterrestrial Stitch, which sent Twitter into a total meltdown amidst rumors they were promo images from a planned live action Lilo and Stitch movie. People were unable to comprehend the possibility that the charming Experiment 626 could look like a rabid blue koala on steroids in real life. But honestly, I kind of dig it. Alas, these were just some cool concept images created by Berlin-based character artist Boris Kaiselicki. But never say never. Charlie Brown. 
Charlie Brown is everyone's favorite lovable loser. And to be honest, we all grew to relate to his penchant for awkwardness and social anxiety. This nervous four-year-old from the Peanuts comic strip won the hearts of many. But have you ever considered the cartoon's real-world counterpart? This lifelike drawing by illustrator Tim O'Brien really brings out the sadness in the child's eyes, and boy does this creepy basketball-headed freak hit you right in the feels. Phineas and Ferb Phineas and Ferb would have no hope of survival in the real world with their alphabet-shaped heads and ever-dangerous stunts. But Miguel Vasquez has stepped up to the plate once again with these real-life renderings. Somehow their noses seem even bigger than in cartoon form, and the mischievous stepbrothers seem to have aged considerably. Ferb is giving off some serious math teacher vibes. As for the creepy human balloon named Balloonie, are Sam Smith or Steve Buscemi not already enough? Pikachu Pikachu was already brought to life for the live-action Detective Pikachu movie, but this 3D concept art by Colorbleed Studios takes a more realistic approach to the nondescript fuzzy creature. Looking far more intimidating than adorable, this rendering seems to imagine Pikachu as a rabbit fox crossbreed with some pretty nasty teeth and claws. Alternatively, this digital painting by 3D artist Lindsay Wakefield imagines Pikachu as some sort of oversized hamster. 10 out of 10. Would pet again. Mike Wazowski. The popularity of Monsters, Inc. is down to its so-called monsters who are far dorkier than they are scary. But what if that wasn't the case in real life? This toothy 3D model of Mike Wazowski by Vasquez is pure nightmare fuel. And this digital painting by artist Dan Lubisi isn't much better. It offers a dystopian look at a blind and homeless Wazowski, complete with a genius, will strike fear for beer sign. Bert. Surely, no real-life reimagining of Sesame Street's Bert and Ernie could tarnish their radiant happiness and general excitement for life. Wrong. Check out this terrifying glimpse at Human Bert created by an artist called Nacho Diaz using silicone, which really brings out his eyes. I mean, really. From the unnervingly awkward smile to the single tuft of hair sprouting from the top of his pinecone-shaped head, thanks to this horrifying creation, I'm never sleeping again. Finn and Jake. Adventure Time is home to all manner of wacky characters, but the Finn and Jake double act are undoubtedly fan favorites. Sure, Finn might seem human, but have you ever taken the time to really study his cartoonish features and imagine how that might translate into real life? I give you Finn by Miguel Vasquez. This terrifying realistic model brings to your attention a whole host of abnormalities. Like why are Finn's eyes so far apart? Why does he have no nose and an ever missing tooth? and I shudder to think what's under that hat. Meanwhile, his superpowered canine companion Jake has been reimagined here by digital game sculptor Thomas Lishman as a buff, tatted up crime buster, which I'm all for. Stewie and Peter Griffin. Stewie Griffin is the Family Guy character we all love, but what would he look like IRL? Something like this, maybe? Not according to blogger Pixaloo, who has created this lifelike rendition, which literally looks like the crafty kid has swallowed a rugby ball. Meanwhile, Peter, whose human doppelganger has been turning up all over the place online, has also been reimagined by Pixaloo as well as 3D artist Will Hughes, neither of which were too forgiving for his, uh, unusually shaped chin. Mario. I know what you're thinking. Mario's already human. Indeed, some real-life imaginings of Mario, like this one by Korean 3D artist Soo Jong Kim, seem to present him as a pretty passable plumber. But this 3D model by Pixaloo stays truer to his original exaggerated facial features. That nose could give Nigel Thornberry a run for his money. Recently, an American Olympic curler has been hailed online as the real-life incarnation of Super Mario. So I guess we'll settle for that instead. Hey Arnold. Some cartoon characters bear close enough similarities to us humans that they could feasibly exist in our world. But where do you start with a boy as oddly shaped as Hey Arnold? Unsurprisingly, Miguel is given it a go, and it's not a pretty sight. Between his ridiculously useless cap and eyes, which seem feet apart, this is not someone I'd like to hang out with. Will Hughes' interpretation of the football-headed freak doesn't fare much better either. This zit-covered humanoid seems to have wheat for hair and looks more like a greasy deflated balloon than a human being. 
Stimpy encouraged the cowardly dog. Surely these childhood wrecking 3D renderings couldn't do as much damage to cartoon animals as humans, right? Let me introduce you to Will Hughes' version of Stimpy the dog from Ren and Stimpy, which quite frankly looks more like the ogre from the basement in Harry Potter than any dog I know of. If that didn't prove my point enough, here's Courage the Cowardly Dog reimagined by Miguel. If there's anything this pink pup should genuinely be afraid of, it's his own stomach churning appearance. Timmy Turner. Here's another human cartoon who theoretically shouldn't look too terrifying in real life, especially as far as the awful live action film was concerned. But this untuning by DeviantArt's Madeleon RJ beats all odds by giving us Timmy in full horrifying glory. The rabbit like front teeth and soul seeing eyes are enough to scare off any babysitter, so it's no wonder Vicky never stuck around. Fry and Professor H. This lifelike rendering of Fry from Futurama by Spanish character artist Miguel Miranda is enough to make you question what exactly is he supposed to be? With bug eyes and over puckered lips, he seems more like fish human, but the red human hair makes it all the more confusing. His take on Professor Hubert J. Farnsworth takes the uneasy overhanging lip a step further. While this real life professor by artist Carlos Lopez could pass as human, I guess the closest we'll come to the truth is this ingenious prosthetic by Frank Ippolito. Bananas in Pajamas Ever wondered what the bananas in pajamas have been up to since they disappeared off our TV screens in 2001? No need! By the look of this 3D rendering by Jan Blanco, the fruity fellas, now approaching their sell-by date, have spent their retirement suffering from serious insomnia and smoking a 20 pack a day. And I seriously doubt those PJs have ever been washed either. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty has been a total network smash and surely a live action movie will be in the pipeline soon, right? If Willem Dafoe can't play Rick, then maybe David Cronenberg. They seriously need to make this movie though. Now let's take a moment to imagine what the nutty scientist and his fretful grandson would look like in real life. This digital portrait of Morty by Will Hughes shows every blackhead and poor in incredible detail, and those haunting ghoulish eyes definitely have a touch of Tim Burton to them. Meanwhile, Rick is looking, uh, a little burnt out, and that signature spiky blue hair looks like the product of an unfortunate electrical mishap. Other realistic paintings come close, and to be honest, I'm a little disturbed he's gonna steal my Szechuan sauce. Ed, Ed, Nettie. There's no denying Ed, Ed, and Eddie weren't normal kids. Besides their confusing names, their four-fingered hands, thinning hair, and unhealthy obsession with jawbreakers was a dead giveaway. But nothing can prepare you for Miguel Vasquez's rendition of the trio of Eds, which is horrifying beyond your wildest dreams. Honestly, it looks like these kids have been hanging out on the wrong street corners, where jawbreakers aren't the only form of currency. Ed is in the running for most chins ever recorded, Double D seems to be suffering from serious PTSD, while Eddie has transgressed humankind, becoming a sugar guzzling beast. Be right back while I go claw my own eyes out. How many of these real life cartoon characters do you wish you could permanently erase from your brain now? And which one did you think was the best rendition? Let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.